this is it for now. <laughs> there might be some other people chiming in later. I don't know. But uh, uh, as you all know, Eddie had this uh, uh, devastating fire at his apartment. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm, my feelings uh, about him getting out the way he did, uh, I'm just happy that uh, he did get out. And, uh, and also that, uh, well, Eddie, you, if you want to, if you want to, it's up to you. It, so glad you're okay, Eddie. Yeah, it was, it was uh, definitely an experience for sure that I uh, won't forget. Uh, I mean, uh, I just happened to stay there. I've been actually staying at my girlfriend's house recently, and I uh, only stayed there that night because I was playing uh, pool with my son. And just decided, you know, to go up. I'm paying the rent there. Might as well stay for the night. And uh, wow. I, I was maybe home for an hour and a half, fell asleep, woke up. Because I, I thought I heard noises or something. And then I sat up and I was just like, wow, it's really hot in here. Wow. And, uh, wow. I, I, as soon as I sat up, my air conditioner kicked off. So I got up out of bed to go turn the AC back on. And I saw like... 15 foot flames coming off the roof underneath me and then the window right above my bed where I rest my head flames just started pouring through the windows oh my wow. god yeah so I, I, I ran downstairs and uh, was able to get Wyatt and his mother out and her dog and cat then I ran back into the front of the building there's a, a lady that's like I believe 83 or 82 I just kicked her door in and grabbed her and pulled her out like she thought I was robbing her at first you know like she was, oh, she was terrified you know and then once yeah. she was listening I'm like the house is on fire she smelled the smoke then she realized you know and I had to like she was like stark naked I had to grab her clothes you know like mm -hmm. grab her yeah she had like a uh, something hanging on the back of her door I just grabbed it and threw it over while I was carrying her out and as I made it out the front door there was one officer there and he asked me if there was uh, anybody else. I said, we got one more guy upstairs. So we ran upstairs and kicked his door and got him out of the house, too. Wow. It's amazing, Eddie. But, uh, I mean, I, I'm all right. I mean, I got a couple burns and stuff, you know, nothing too crazy. But uh, I'm just happy everybody else is out. I, I was scared to death I wasn't going to be able to get my son and his mother out of there. Oh, my God. But they're okay. I mean, we lost some stuff. I mean, I, I lost my stuff I had, but that, I, I, like, honestly, I don't care about any of that. I'm just so happy. I get to see my son another day. I get to see his mother another day. And somebody was on my side, you know, somebody was there for me. So I, I, I pray that I had that ability, you know? Yeah. God was certainly watching out for you. No, oh, for sure. Definitely changed my uh, opinion and outlook on many, many things. Many things, yeah. I mean, just the fact that you woke up, like, none yeah. of that was, that wasn't a coincidence. That no, was no, no, like, like, I woke up, and then I just thought it was so hot, and then I smelled something, and, like, I smelled like burnt rubber or something. I'm like, what the heck? And then the AC literally kicked, I wasn't awake for 30 seconds, and the AC kicked off. So I'm like, my, my apartment's very small. It should be freezing in there, you know? And I'm like, man, it's hot in here. I'm like, it's warm. And I went to go to turn the AC on just saw flickering out the window and I looked down and first thing yeah. I did was I, I, I grabbed this leather jacket that I have on my chair I grabbed my cat and ran out the door wow yeah she knew what was going on it didn't dawn on to me afterwards like she was freaking out flipping out like running around and hiding I didn't realize what was going on until I saw the fire and then after that a lot of stuff was a blur I mean I there was five different towns, fire trucks there. It was it was crazy. Yeah, my, my girlfriend's father is actually a, a chief fire inspector of one of the companies. So he, he ended up showing up, which is a big relief. There was someone there that I knew that I could speak to. Oh, that's good. And uh, he helped me out. They were able to actually get my cell phone out of there after the, the yeah, like. best friend did. Yeah, her, her father's best friend got my phone out. It was all burnt up and sooty, and I just wiped it off and and. and and it worked. I couldn't believe it worked. So then I was able to actually contact people and get a hold of them. Like, hey, I don't know Aww. if you guys heard anything, but I'm alive. Wyatt's alive. Aww. And Ben's alive. 
but yeah, it's uh, it's still sinking in, I guess, you know. Well, that's just something you don't ever think is going to happen to you, but no, never, when, never. When it does, you want to react the way that you reacted, and that's amazing to me. I mean, I, I didn't even, I just, I, honestly, I did wasn't even thinking. I just only thing I was like Wyatt and Amanda, and then they reminded me of the the lady that was in there, and I made them go to the end of the driveway, and I just I literally had to force my way in there and. She didn't have any fire in her place, but there was definitely a lot of smoke billowing into in her apartment. She wouldn't have been able to. And uh, yeah, she wouldn't have been able to make it out on her own. I mean, she she got like assisted living, and she she can't walk from ten feet without taking a break. You know, it was it was it was kind of crazy. I mean, just imagine had you not been there, had you not decided yeah. to stay there, like he's being that very was all humble. Meant to be. He's being very humble because all the fire men think he should be a volunteer now and they're giving him I, an award exactly i'm like you have first responder instincts you need to join the fire department the hero <laughs> yes you are a hero eddie i don't know if Thank you guys you can see it but... yeah oh let me see oh. go, go a little go a little bit lower yeah yeah we can. i got you oh, oh yeah that's a little lower Oh, oh dear. Ouch. That looks owie. That's a first and second degree burn, Eddie. What are they going to do? Gotta... I just, I have to go to the urgent care tomorrow. I was kind of stubborn. Like, I I didn't even realize it happened until, like, hours and hours later. And then I didn't want to say nothing to anybody because I didn't want everybody to worry. Mom and pop was like, oh, I got to go to the hospital, hospital. And, like, unfortunately, I don't have health insurance. But now... I don't have to worry about any of that. So tomorrow I'm going to go to urgent care and uh, all they can really do is just give me some like burn cream and wrap it. I've been keeping it clean and I've washed yeah. it three times today, antibacterial That's soap and putting stuff on it. So and yeah. there's a, there's a special gel they can put on there to stop the blistering and heal, heal a lot faster. Yeah. This is a prescription. Yeah. Has to get, but he has to go to the doctor for it. I mean, it, it I definitely can feel it. Um, there's there's no joke in it. It's what stinks is uh, I had my pool league final last night, or was it last night or night before? Mm -hmm. I had my pool league and I had no choice but to go because if I didn't show up, even under the circumstances, they had I had to forfeit and we wouldn't go to Las Vegas, but we won. So oh. this this Tuesday is the last match and four out of the six of us have to play and I play. I, I got the MVP first place out of the entire league. So if I play and I win, they're paying me to go to Las Vegas. So I'm going to just have to man up and walk around on it Tuesday a little bit. And what kind of league is it? It's for pool league for uh, billiards. Billiards. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's like 80 something people out of the league. I got MVP. I got first place out of everybody. Oh, good for you. Nice. Yeah. I hope you get to go to Vegas. That'd be a nice vacation. I would I would love to go. I, I just want to go just to say I was there, shoot some pool, maybe uh, throw some dice and then get out of town. 